there's at least a point of head that crosses the corner up from the pin. So if you're circling the pin, don't quit. But it just so you know, I used to have it happen. Um, people would get the pin and then come over mad because, well, I didn't. I thought I won, and I'm going. Well, yeah. I got a pin. They go, yeah, but you didn't get points. Once they circle that pin twice, you ain't got your points left anyway. Okay. So you're pinning them because you got to complete the course. But you lost all your points. You lost all the points, so you're the same as the guy that didn't pin them. Yeah. Because you've lost your points. Uh, same in novice. Same in novice. Okay. It's but it's it's okay if your dog, like on the novice, you're bringing them down, and you stop them, go open your gate, so that you don't get them in too close, so that they circle. Okay. They're not going to knock you for doing that. Nope. The, the thing about it is, they, they don't, and they never care what you're doing. Okay. Yeah. They're your type of spot. I don't care when I'm judging it. I don't care what you're doing. It's what the sheep are doing. I don't even care what your dog's doing. Yeah. You're watching the sheep. Yeah. I want to see him working on but I don't really care where he's at. It's about how straight the sheep are. I don't worry about what he does. How he, how he gets the result. Mm -hmm. No, the result that he gets. And the novice handler can leave that post as soon as the sheep cross where that uh, the panels are up there. Right, right. Okay. And they'll have it the, when they before the class, the judge will come out and mm -hmm. have the handler's meeting, and they'll tell you where that spot is. Okay. And you can leave the post. So they'll probably leave those up, won't they, Buford, for novice? They won't take the panels down. No, they down. won't take all that down. Okay. Now the post is just going to be on the ground, right? It's not going to be where you're standing up above your dog or anything. No, no, it's okay. just not. And we'll put a cone out there. And the gate will open towards the post. Versus towards the gate. Yes, it will open towards you. And it's a, there's an eight-foot line on it. And the only thing is, once you grab the gate, you got that line, you must hold that line. Okay. You have to hold the line, okay. You have to hold it. Don't okay. let it go because I'm, if you drop it, if it gets knocked out of your hands, one thing. Uh -huh. if you can pick it back up. You just, you'll lose some points because the sheep hit the rope. It shouldn't hit the rope. But if you drop it to go yeah. help your dog, that's considered that you've retired. Okay. Oh. So hold that wow. rope. Bye bye. Alright. If it gets knocked out, grab it back up and just take the points lost because you scattered the sheep and go I back. Mean, but if you drop it to go help him, that's considered I'm, I'm done. You're done. Yeah. Okay. And uh, that pin is pretty much right across from the handler's post. So. Yeah. Okay. What we want to do. Yeah. Try to get it so the mouth like of the pin is a good the easy line coming off that drive. Off that drive. Sometimes on a novice you course, you it's not set up good for a novice because it's set up for the open. Okay. Uh -huh. okay. That's okay. But this pin here we have is fairly that I'm going to get. It's easy to move around, so it'll be set up so it's a good easy line to get up. And that's why I'm running the novice class last both times we're changing the. It usually runs open, nursery, open, ranch, ranch, and novice. But we're changing on Friday night because it's so hot Yeah. that the open dogs do way more work than everybody else, so we're yeah. staggering it. It'll get cooler as we go up the class, and then novice. And I'm doing that because, like I said, Floyd Sheep, he doesn't have a dog. They're not dog broke, and they really don't like to be around people. So it makes it... A, a little, Maybe by Sunday afternoon, novice class. <laughs> Usually by the time the you know, trial's over, they're... You can get pretty close to them, and they're moving off of dogs real well. Yeah. So I put the novice class last so that the sheep are pretty broke by the time the novice gets to them. Because uh, they're hard to handle for an open dog. Oh, my. That's why I did the classes the way I did it. So And put novice last on the first day for sure. So let those sheep be broke. They want to get, you know, they kind of want to get in the pen. They want to. Cool.